Hi everybody, and welcome to Jewels for Elul. I'm David Ogle, president of Tefereth Israel Synagogue. Only 291 more days. <laughs> I'm here to uh, to reflect on uh, on the high holidays, and it always makes me think back about when I was a kid, um, and some of my uh, my most uh, favored uh, favorite um, memories. Like for example, when uh, we'd go to the park with my grandmother. And she would sit with her friends, and she would sit down on the bench, and and she would say "oi," and then her friend would sit down and say "oi," and then their third friend would come over there and say "oi, oi, oi, oi," and then they would look at each other and say, "Enough about the kids already." Or when I took my mother, or may she um, always uh, blessing a uh, memory of before a blessing, and. And we were driving and she was getting a little bit older and uh, she, uh, you know, she's, she's going through Hollywood. We made it back to our house over near Griffith Park where we were living at the time. And uh, she said, no, how did I do? I said, mom, <laughs> you, you, you nearly hit somebody. <laughs> you ran two red lights and you just blew past that stop sign. And she says, I was driving. So. One of the things, though, that uh, High Holidays always brings to me is how much, how every, how very important it is to think about other people, and um, whether that's your family, um, your friends, or just perfect strangers. And uh, what we do when we think about others, we're, we're engaging in a holy act. And for example, there is a story that I like to tell. Um, many of you, if not all of you, have heard it before, but it's a good story, and I like stories. Um, it was a guy who uh, moved down to, uh, to, uh, um, to a beach town, and he, he was just a handyman. He was pretty good with fixing things, and the person that he lived next door to, he said, hey, you know, I noticed you're, you're a handyman. You're good with fixing things. Would you mind, like, painting my boat? I've got this old boat that's sitting on the beach. It's turning into driftwood. Yeah, so, of course. So he gives him 50 bucks. So he gets a, you know, can of paint, and he starts painting the boat. He makes it a nice cherry red. It looks very cool. And, um, and he notices that there's a hole in the boat, a little hole, but you know, you can't take it out on the water. So he gets the, um, the you know, the, the, the shows you how much I know about fixing boats. He gets whatever you need to fix a boat so that it won't sink. So, you know, the boat looks great. The um, guy comes home and he sees that his kids, his three little kids have taken this beautiful boat out into the water and he's thinking, oh my God, they're gonna drown now. Um, I forgot to tell him that, you know, that it, uh, it, it has a hole in it. So he swims out there, he swims out there, and the kids are having a great time. Of course the boat doesn't sink because the, the, the fix-it man fixed it. And so he, he knocks on his door, the, the owner of the boat, and he knocks on his door and he, he says, I owe you, um, just tell me how much I owe you. And he says, what do you mean you owe me? He says, you already paid me $50 to paint the boat. He says, but you don't understand. You, you saved my kid's life. They took that boat out. They, uh, they, they, they would have drowned had you not fixed that hole in the boat. And it just goes to show um, that when you do something small, the guy said, it's nothing. So yeah, I fixed the boat, you know, big deal. It didn't take, it took me five minutes to do it. When you do something small to help somebody else, it shows that you could save a life. And so as we head into these high holidays, as we reflect of the memories um, and the good times with our parents and our grandparents that we had, um, and we look into the future, um, let's remember that the, uh, the small things that we do, whether it's giving somebody a ride, or it's somebody, whether it's just calling them up and telling them I miss you and I was thinking about you, whether it's uh, making a dinner for your husband or your wife or your kids or the neighbor next door, um, it's a holy act. And may we all be filled with engaging in the holy acts in the coming year. Shavuot Tov. God bless you and God bless the Fair of Israel Synagogue.